Hello, everyone. My name is James. I am with the Phoenix Seventh-day Baptist Church, along with my wife, Priscilla. We are the deacon and deaconess of that church, and we wanted to have a small discussion with everyone just to let everyone know what the Seventh-day Baptist Church is and give everyone some information about it, including our statement of belief. But before we get into the statement of belief, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the history and the origins of the Seventh-day Baptist Church. So all of the information that I'm getting is going to, not all of the information, but for the history, the information that I'm getting is going to be taken from a book called Conscious Taken Captive, A Short History of the Seventh-day Baptist by Don A. Sanford. So Seventh-day Baptists date back all the way to the 1600s in England. And um, according to the book, William H. Brackney began his book entitled The Baptist with an overview of the Baptist history in England. And in it, he, there's this following quote. A third stream of the Baptist persuasion also demands attention. Smaller in numbers, more heavily persecuted, and no less adamant about their faith were the Seventh-day Baptists. In the Biblicism of the age, when the scriptures were being constantly re-examined as a standard of free church doctrine and practice, it's not surprising that a person or a church should conclude that keeping the Sabbath was an inescapable requirement of biblical Christianity. So as you can see, it started out in England, but as part of people coming to America uh, to escape religious persecution, the Seventh-day Baptists also um, had their American beginnings. So in America, Seventh-day Baptists traced their origins to three colonies where freedom of religion was encouraged, Rhode Island, Pennsylvania, and New Jersey. So just to give you a little bit of an overview of how things went in America, in December of 1671, members of a Baptist church who had come to the conviction um, to keep the Sabbath of the Bible decided to separate from the Baptist church, the other Baptist church that they were going to. And that's how it started in Rhode Island. In Pennsylvania, in 1691, 48 people signed a confession of faith and a statement of the reasons for their separation from the Quakers. That statement of faith gave prominence to the Bible and the commandments of God. And finally, in New Jersey, it was Deacon Edmund Dunham who had started it all. He saw Hezekiah Bonham doing servile labor on Sunday. Thinking it was his Christian responsibility, Dunham reprimanded him for breaking God's law. Bonham demanded scriptural proof, so he not only searched the Bible himself for the proof but he is, that he assumed must be there, but enlisted members of his Bible class to join in the study. Out of this study, he and 17 others became convinced of the validity of the Seventh-day Sabbath and began meeting in the Dunham home. And after that, it spread throughout the United States. So now that you know a little bit about our history, we can get into what we, be what we believe and look at our statement of faith. Seventh-day Baptists consider liberty of thought under the guidance of the Holy Spirit to be essential to Christian belief and practices. Therefore, we encourage the unhindered study and open discussion of Scripture. We uphold the individual's freedom of conscience in seeking to determine and obey the will of God. The following statement is not intended to be exhaustive, but an expression of our common belief, which is derived from our understanding of Scripture. So what do we Seventh-day Baptists believe about God? We believe in one God, infinite and perfect, the creator and sustainer of the universe who exists eternally in three persons— Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and desires to share his love in a personal relationship with everyone. There is more information about our beliefs of God and specifically what we believe about the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in our statement of faith. So for more information, you can go ahead and take a look at that. We believe that the Bible is the inspired word of God and is our final authority in matters of faith and practice. We believe that Jesus Christ, in his life and teachings as recorded in the Bible, is the supreme interpreter of God's will for mankind. What do Seventh-day Baptists believe about mankind? We believe that mankind was created in the image of God and is therefore the noblest work of creation. We believe that human beings have moral responsibility and are created to enjoy both divine and human fellowship as children of God. We believe that sin is disobedience to God and failure to live according to His will. Because of sin, all people have separated themselves from God. We believe that because we are sinners, we are in need of a Savior. We believe that salvation from sin and death is the gift of God by redeeming love accomplished by Christ's death and resurrection. 
and is received only by repentance and faith in him. We believe that all who repent of their sins and receive Christ as Savior will not be punished at the final judgment, but enjoy eternal life. When it comes to eternal life, we believe that Jesus rose from the dead and lives eternally with the Father, and that he will come again with power and great glory. We believe that eternal life begins in knowing God through a commitment to Jesus Christ. We believe that because he died and lives again, resurrection with spiritual and imperishable bodies is the gift of God to believers. We believe that the Church of God is all believers gathered by the Holy Spirit and joined into one body, of which Christ is the head. We believe that the local church is a community of believers organized in covenant relationship for worship, fellowship, and service, practicing and proclaiming common convictions while growing in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We believe in the priesthood of all believers and practice the autonomy of the local congregation as we seek to work in association with others for more effective witness. As for baptism, we believe that baptism of believers in obedience to Christ's command is a witness to the acceptance of Jesus Christ as a Savior and Lord. We believe in baptism by immersion as a symbol of death to sin, a pledge to a new life in Him. We believe that the Lord's Supper commemorates the suffering and death of our Redeemer until He comes and is a symbol of union in Christ and a pledge of renewed allegiance to our risen Lord. We believe that the Sabbath of the Bible, the seventh day of the week, is sacred time, a gift of God to all people, instituted at creation, affirmed in the Ten Commandments, and reaffirmed in the teaching and example of Jesus and the Apostles. We believe that the gift of the Sabbath rest is an experience of God's eternal presence with His people. We believe that in obedience to God and in loving response to His grace in Christ, the Sabbath should be faithfully observed as a day of rest, worship, and celebration. We believe that Jesus Christ commissions us to proclaim the gospel, to make disciples, to baptize, and to teach observance of all that he has commanded. We are called to be witnesses for Christ throughout the world and in all human relationships. So that's a little bit about Seventh-day Baptists in a nutshell. We are located at the Phoenix Seventh-day Baptist Church, as James mentioned earlier. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to contact us. We have a website, phoenixsdb.com, or we're actually on YouTube at the Phoenix Seventh-day Baptist channel. We are also on TikTok, Facebook. Instagram. So try to look us up. And uh, if especially if you're in the Phoenix area, feel free to give us a visit. And if you want more information about um, our statement of faith, like I said, you can go to the website. And if you want more information about Seventh Day Baptist in general, you can go to the Seventh Day Baptist Conference website. And there you can find different locations for churches that might be near you if you're not in Phoenix. And I hope you have a very blessed day.